Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreppinsight.com. And today I'm gonna to be comparing the MCAT courses from Princeton Review and Altius. I'll break down the similarities and differences between them, what we like and don't like about each of these programs, and a bunch more. That way you can see how these two courses stack up. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Okay, welcome back. I just wanna mention up front here that since I'll just be focusing on higher level points in this video today, if you find you need more detail at any point about either course's features, you can always check out our full detailed written comparison over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Princeton Review vs. Altius. It's a quick way to find it. All right, so a quick rundown of how I'm gonna organize this video. First, I'm gonna provide a high level overview of how each course works and the features that you get. Then I'll touch on a quick cost comparison to see how these packages stack up from a pricing perspective. Then I'm gonna cover where I see each company winning over one another by feature or category. And finally, I'll end with a verdict of who wins overall and which course I'd personally choose. So let's start with that program overview. And I'll begin with Princeton Review. They offer a very traditional MCAT prep course built around most of the standard features that you would expect live classes, video lessons, a structured study schedule, practice problems, mock exams at sequenced intervals, review sessions, and more. You work through a series of learning modules that are each based on different topics tested on the MCAT, as well as test-taking strategies, and you keep knocking down assignments within a module until you move on to the next. In terms of features and design, it's not so different from Kaplan or Blueprint, and probably not even that far off from what your SAT or ACT prep course was like if you took one a few years ago. It's a pretty standard slate of features and structure for a prep course. And that's not to imply that it's a bad thing. I mean, there's a very good reason that Princeton Review, Kaplan Blueprint, and a bunch of other MCAT mega providers use this kind of standard structure. It's because it works, and it's been vetted for decades. But without getting too much into the detail, I'll save that for the section on specifically what I like and don't like about this course. That's generally it in a nutshell for Princeton Review. Then on the other side, you've got Altius, who takes a pretty unique approach to MCAT prep. Rather than basing their course around on-demand video lessons and online learning modules with drills like Princeton, the Altius course is based around two things, one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions with a dedicated mentor and small group classes. Basically, Altius's focus is on taking a much more hands-on and personalized approach to MCAT prep with more of a human touch. Their coursework is built around intensive review sessions with a mentor where you go over questions about content and cars and test taking strategies. You review practice problems together, modify your schedule based on strengths and weaknesses and a bunch more. Then the other half of their equation is small group based learning sessions. These live classes meet once or twice a week over Zoom and this is where a good chunk of your learning takes place. The classes are capped at just six to eight students so they feel sort of workshop like and each session is led by one or two Altius experts who cover a certain topic tested on the MCAT, review practice problems, and answer questions. Essentially, the classes tee up the meat of your learning and then you work through assignments on your own and then reinforce and recalibrate with your mentor. From a high level, I'd say the biggest difference is that Princeton Review sets up their course for you to be responsible for your own studies and drive your own gains, while Altius leans more on mentor support and guidance. But anyway, that's how the two courses compare from a high level. Now let's jump into a quick cost breakdown before giving you my thoughts. So in terms of pricing, Princeton Review gives you four packages to choose from. A self-paced on-demand course that runs for $2,000, a live online package with live classes that runs for $2,800, an MCAT 513 plus course, which is more intensive and guarantees a score of at least 513, that costs $3,500, and a 515 plus immersion course, which is their ultra high-end immersive course that guarantees a score of 515 or better. That package costs roughly $7,300. Then with Altius, they've got about a million course formats, self-paced, elite, silver, gold, and platinum, all with different lengths. They range all over in price, from as low as $1,000 for the self-paced course up to seven grand for their platinum package. But here's what I'd say with Altius. Don't even bother with their self-paced course. If you want an on-demand package, Princeton Review is the way to go between these two. Their self-paced package is a hundred times better, which I'll cover in more detail here in a minute. Altius is known for their mentoring-based live courses, and of these, their Elite Package, which is their most popular flagship course, costs $2,900. So in terms of cost, if comparing standard courses, Princeton Review's Live Online versus Altius's Elite course, it's essentially a dead tie, $2,800 to $2,900. However, what I'll say is that both of these companies regularly run sales and special promotions, and you can very frequently find these packages for a discounted price. So be sure to check the description below for coupon codes, I'll drop any current discounts and deals that I can find down there for you. I see both of these courses regularly discounted by hundreds of dollars, so make sure to check that out before purchasing. 
All right, so let's get to the main advantages or wins for each course. And for Princeton Review, I've got them winning on video lessons, course design, prep books, and problem explanations. On that first point, Princeton offers some very good video lessons, while Altius does not. Like I mentioned a minute ago, that is not Altius's strength and their video lessons can't even compare with Princeton Review's on-demand video lectures. Bottom line, if you're a visual learner and self-driving your studies with video lessons is gonna be a big part of your study plan, go Princeton Review. Then second, I prefer the overall course design of Princeton Review's course. Don't get me wrong, I like Altius's framework and approach of learning through small group classes and regular mentor meetings, but in terms of building a complete, well-rounded MCAT program, Princeton Review wins this category. Their material is grouped into these learning modules where they clearly direct you through your daily work. You roll from video lessons into practice problems to drills, then review sessions and quizzes. It's got a great flow. Not to mention the material itself is structured pretty smartly by subject matter grouping. So overall, love the design of the Princeton Review MCAT course. Then, third up, I like Princeton Review's problem explanations a bit better. Outside of the AAMC practice material, which both companies use, I actually prefer Altius's in-house practice exams themselves better, more on this in a second, but in terms of how problem solutions are broken down, I like the way Princeton Review does it. They've beefed up the AAMC explanations with their own analysis, and the solutions they provide with their own proprietary practice questions are really solid as well. Princeton Review's problems seem to have a deeper reasoning and are more clearly explained than Altius's. And this is pretty important, as a lot of your learning will come from reviewing your missed practice questions in MCAT prep. And by the way, if you want to see examples of both companies' explanations side by side to get a better feel for what I'm talking about, be sure to check out that full detailed written comparison I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. I have screenshots over there so you can check those out. Then, lastly, prep books. If you're a text-based learner and plan to rely on workbooks and physical study tools, then there's no doubt that you have to go with Princeton Review. They ship you 11 hard copy prep books, seven covering content review of the major MCAT subjects, and four being course-related workbooks, while Altius ships you just one. Yes, one book. It's an okay study resource, but really it acts more like a reference manual where the Princeton Review books are ultra comprehensive and very well integrated into your assigned coursework. Anyway, those are the advantages for Princeton Review. So let's flip the script now and cover the major advantages in favor of Altius, where I have them with three wins live classes, support and guidance, and non-AAMC practice exams. So let's start with that first category, live classes. While we actually really like Princeton Review's live classes, you get 123 hours of class time with a rotating team of subject matter experts, you just can't beat Altius's small group classes at the end of the day. With the classes capped at just six to eight students, they have a very small and workshop-like feel to them. You get very close with your instructor and peers, and the classes seem to make a lot more progress in each session likely because the class size is smaller and everything's more streamlined. Across 100 plus hours of class time, depending on which Altius package you go with, that is just a ton of value in these live classes. Then, second, not shockingly, is the mentor sessions. Having a dedicated mentor that you meet with every week adds a ton of structure and support to your study plan. Like I mentioned earlier, these sessions cover a ton of ground and provide lift where you need it the most. You can ask substantive questions about hard content, talk pacing strategy, review practice tests, discuss car strategies, whatever. Your mentor is basically there to make sure you're understanding everything that you're learning in the course, keep you on track, and ensure that your study plan is optimized. It's a really cool and unique feature that other MCAT prep companies just don't have and that we really like. And lastly, in comparing non-AAMC practice material between the two companies, we prefer Altius. They offer 10 proprietary full-length exams that are very, very good. So good, in fact, that other MCAT prep providers actually buy them off Altius to give to their students. They are very close to the real MCAT in terms of problem difficulty, length, and content. Thus, if you're a learn-by-doing type of student and plan to burn up a ton of practice work as you go, then Altius could be a good choice, as you'll get all the AAMC materials plus a bunch of their high-quality practice questions. And that about does it for the details, so let's get to my final verdict. But before I hit you with that, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple dinner. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes like 10 seconds to enter and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free MCAT course from Princeton Review or Altius. Okay, final verdict. Should you go with Princeton Review or Altius for your MCAT prep? Well, after having a chance to use and thoroughly test out both of these prep programs, our team prefers Princeton Review. While we like Altius's personalized and supportive approach with their one-on-one -on -one mentoring and small group live classes, as well as the quality of their mock exams, at the end of the day, Princeton Review's MCAT course is just so much more comprehensive and well-rounded. 
with their smart course design built around learning modules, which integrate all of your materials from video lessons to live classes to drills and full length practice tests, just has a much more complete feel to it and overall is more effective. So for us, we give Princeton Review the overall edge. And that's all I've got for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And again, if you wanna see that full detailed written comparison that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.